This is easy. We need to change 0.85 grams per milliliter to kilograms per cubic meter. First, we are going to change grams to kilograms. Write what you have as a fraction. We have 0.85 grams per 1 milliliter. And prepare to multiply. We need to get rid of grams and have kilograms, so we will use this conversion factor. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. We're going to take this conversion factor and write it right here. Look here, we have grams on top of the fraction, so we will put 1,000 grams on the bottom of the fraction, so grams cancel out, and we will put one kilogram on top of the fraction. Look here, we have grams on top and grams on the bottom, so grams will cancel out and we will be left with kilograms per milliliter. Do not stop, we need to change milliliters to cubic meters. How we are going to do that? We are going to use these two conversion factors. So first we are going to change milliliters to cubic centimeters and then to cubic meters. Let's go. So do not stop. Prepare to multiply. We have milliliters on the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to take this conversion factor. One milliliter is one cubic centimeter and write it right here in such a way so milliliters cancel out. So we have milliliters on the bottom. So we will put one milliliter on top of the fraction and one cubic centimeter on the bottom of the fraction. So look here, milliliters cancel out and we are left with cubic centimeters, but we need to get cubic meters. So now let's use this relationship. One meter is 100 centimeters. We need cubic units, so we will cube both sides. One cubic meter is equal to 100 cubed means 100 times 100 times 100. The same with units. Centimeters cubed means centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. So we have one cubic meter is equal to one million cubic centimeters. Very good. Now we're going to take this conversion factor and plug it in right here to get rid of cubic centimeters and have cubic meters. We have cubic centimeters on the bottom, so we will write 1 million cubic centimeters on top of the fraction, so that cubic centimeters cancel out, and 1 cubic meter on the bottom of the fraction. Look here, cubic centimeters cancel out, and now we are left with cubic meters. Now we can do the math because we finally got kilograms per cubic meter. So now let's do the math. We are going to multiply all the numbers on top of the fractions. So we have 0 0.85 times 1 times 1 times 1 million. So get a calculator and multiply. We will have 850,000 kilograms over now, we are going to multiply all the numbers on the bottom of the fractions. 1 times 1,000 times 1 times 1. We will have 1,000. And what units we have? We have cubic meters. Now we divide. 850,000 divided by 1,000. You will have 850 kilograms per cubic meter. And that's it. Keep up the good work.